Thornton Klein has been writing nonstop since the age of five years old. He has got over a thousand published songs, 150 recorded songs, and 32 traditionally published adult, children's, and young adult books. So you don't want to miss the show today. We're going to be talking about his latest release, Between the Fins. You're watching the Writer's Corner live show. Stay with us. <laughs> If you have just joined us, you're watching the Writer's Corner live show. I'm your host, Bridgette Limbanda from Cape Town in South Africa, a very hot South Africa at the moment, shall I say. And um, our live stream is made possible by Creative Edge, StreamYard and BeLive Media. A special warm welcome to you, our audience, whether you are watching us over on um, Amazon Live, do just know that this is an audience-centric show and uh, we are monitoring the comments. If you're on Amazon Live, I am monitoring the comments right there if you're watching us over on facebook on linkedin on youtube on twitter a very warm welcome to you as well our amazing guest today is award-winning author and songwriter thornton klein and you don't want to miss that but before i um introduce my amazing co-host and friend mary elizabeth one of the things that you need to do as an author these days is to um, level up on how you appear online because most things are still done online due to the pandemic and I've just got a few questions here for you to level up your online appearance and one of the things that you can do is to use a great camera I know Mary uses the same camera as I do which is the Logitech Rio camera and the nice thing about the Logitech Rio camera is it's got um, right side technology which means that it, it will adjust to whatever kind of lighting you have got um, because not everyone has got the professional lighting that it requires to look great but this camera does the job for you so do have a look at the logitech uh brio if you're over watching us over on amazon live uh, uh, it's in the in the cart there so you can have a look at what that looks like also very very important is people will sometimes forgive if you don't look that perfect on on camera but the one thing that you do need to ensure is that people can hear you and uh, what i recommend if you want to have professional sound is something like the samsung um microphone which is a studio condenser microphone it's got a solid die cast construction so that reduces noise vibrations but if you don't want to have a big microphone, because you don't really have to, um, you could invest in something like the Rode Lavalier microphone, which is also perfect. It also gives you a bit more mobility and the sound quality is far better than your native laptop, um, desktop, or even your mobile phone. Talking about mobile phones, um, it's, an, it's a go-to for most people, on the go and especially authors. But if you do use your mobile phone to go live with, you do want to stabilize it. Otherwise, you give, make people feel seasick when there's too much movement on camera. And I just have two recommendations for that. Um, you can either use something like this, which is the DJI Osmo stabilizer, um, or you could use something like the iographer on your tripod, and these things will help you look a little bit more professional. Um, when you are live streaming about your books so my amazing co-host and friend is mary elizabeth jackson she is a special needs and disabilities um, advocate she's also a ghostwriter and an award-winning author and her latest book with our guest today thornton klein is called cheers from heaven so with that let me say hello to mary mary welcome to the show 
Hi, I am excited to be here and excited about our guest um, because he is a dear friend to both of us. And um, I'm doing great. Uh, it is chilly here <laughs> where it's so hot where you are. And um, that's what happens when we get together on uh, different sides of the earth, right? Yes, absolutely. It is screaming hot here. Um, and I just want to give a huge big shout out to Jennifer over on Amazon Live. And Jim Jennifer, thanks for following the Writer's Corner live show. Much appreciated. Um, yes, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. And um, and I also just want to mention that we've recently, recently launched the Writer's Corner Network. Um, so do give us yeah. a follow over on um, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. We're excited. But, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So if you've never met Thornton Klein, Thornton, it's a yeah, absolutely wonderful to have you, Jennifer. Thornton has been is a, a good friend of the Writers Corner Live Show since we started over three and a half years ago. We've had yeah. Thornton on several times because he is a prolific um, author and songwriter. He does amazing work. I don't know how he manages to push out as much work as he does. Really, because he does not. He doesn't don't. sleep. He does. He never <laughs> sleeps. He's like he'll sleep. He's like his when he dies and so then you know he can I know he's the hardest working person I know and you know what for me um and as an author there's a lot of work that goes into being an author if you want to just write a book and sit on the sofa and wait for checks to come in that's not really how it works these days <laughs> or probably I don't know if it ever works does. that way no. So no. teaming up with him from the very beginning, you know, I, I've been very blessed to learn to be teamed up with somebody who has a really good, strong work ethic. And so, you know, that's been absolutely amazing. And I, I could tell the story of one of his publishers. It's like, man, you're the hardest working author I have. So, you know, <laughs> he truly is. But then he has the success behind him to show for everything that he does. And, and he is a true inspiration. So we need to bring him on so he can, you know, share with us his latest <clears throat> because he keeps adding hats <laughs> to what he does. Ab ab absolutely. So Thornton has, as if you've never met Thornton Klein before, he has over a thousand published songs. I mean, just try and wrap your head around that. A I thousand. Know. I know. Um, 150 recorded songs, 32 traditionally published adult children's and young adult books. He also has been nominated multiple times for Grammy and Dove Awards, and he's also won the first place Maxi Literary Award for Best Children's Young Adult Book. Yeah, we won well, that together. <laughs> so let's yeah, that let's hands together for the amazing uh, Thornton Klein. Hi, Thornton. Hello. Hello, my, my, my dear friends. And, and uh, thank you for the wonderful accolades and all the kind words and everything. I, I just want to say it's um, it's always a great pleasure to be on the show, on your show, and as usual. And thank you for inviting me again. And wanted to say a big congratulations to you on your new network that you just uh, formed. And I'm I'm glad to see you, Mary, back uh, and um, doing well again and everything from everything yes. we've done. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. I know we missed each other so much in our in, in being together, Virginia. Like, oh my gosh, we've never been, we've never gone so long without seeing each other and everything. But you have, this is the beginning of 2022, and you have. Um, well, you've got a new title, right? That I would say you've added in the music world. And it's, it's so fascinating though, because, you know, we try to feature lots of different, um, areas of writing and for you, you know, words are words. So words can go anywhere, right? They can go in a poem, 
in a book, a speech, and they can go in music as well. And so I would say, and correct me if I'm wrong, but from January last year to January this year, you have like a whole new part of your life, don't you? That's correct. I'm now I'm now um, CEO and president of of my new record label, Clientel Records, and it's um, I we inked a, I inked a deal back. Uh, I think you remember that it was back in was it October, September, something like that. It took like six months to negotiate the deal, but this is going to put uh, us on the map as far as uh, worldwide distribution and everything, which is great. Major distribution. So. Okay. So tell everybody, so you, so you signed a deal for what? Well, it's an administrative deal for, for worldwide to collect monies, which is very important, you know, of, of all your, your tunes, you know, my whole entire catalog, as well as uh, it also helps um, to, um, to also get, get my record label out there with the um, artists I have on the record label right now, um, worldwide promoting them and, and, um, and just getting them on the charts and everything like that. So. Mm, it's so exciting. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Absolutely. Congratulations. And I also just want to give you a shout, shout out to Vinay um, Gog that's watching us over on uh, LinkedIn. Welcome to the show. Um, so Thornton, your latest title, uh, between the fins what was the inspiration behind that book do you want to hold it up because it's a beautiful yeah, cover it, it's called between fins it's a play on it's a play on words i I'll, mary knows this i like to do a lot of wordplay i i just love it wordplay is so much fun um i guess they would call it wordplay or double entendres or whatever you want to call it but that's just something i really love to do with songs and books and you know if you think about that it's really between friends you know between friends but it's between fins because there's two fish and um, they it's a it's a really delightful tale about i don't want to give it away but that you can't you can't judge a fish by its face nose or fins mm -hmm. and sunny and smiley are the two um two pals two wonderful uh fins friends uh together and uh, it was inspired it's so neat um i was taking my sister to a a restaurant a really nice seafood restaurant called um, Calabash. It's in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. And, um, and I saw the big old tank uh, there. It's gigantic aquarium. And suddenly the whole inspiration just came to me. I'll show you, this is what it looks like here. If you can see the big fish tank, uh, can anybody, can you see that? Is it? Yeah. See, and these beautiful illustrations are done by uh, none other than, um, Alice Antony, um, and she is extremely gifted and talented um, mm. illustrator. I'm very, very oh, gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. She's, she's just, so amazing. I, there's just, just nobody like Alice. <laughs> yeah. no, no, she's, Probably she's one of the best. Yeah, one of the best illustrators. Yeah. Also, other than also um, Lily Grace Jackson, of course, I work with her, and she's phenomenal too. You know, that's uh, Mary's um, daughter too. Isn't that cool? So, oh, it's, it's um, so it's, cute. it comes out yeah. Valentine's Day. It releases Valentine's Day, which is exciting. And so we have we have library tour, library um, signings, and different um, signings that will be taking place. Um, uh, Alice and I do. So, just wanted to. That is so exciting. Yeah, it only and took you know, how many, years, how many years to get the oh. book out? I don't know. It's taken so many years because this this is like some of the other projects like Cheers. It took forever. And, you know, it's OK. There's they come out when they're supposed to. And your book is very prevalent right now because, um, yep, there we go. There's Cheers from Heaven. And, you know, both books are along the lines of accepting others for who they are and accepting yourself. And, you know, there's so much in the media right now, either online or the news about mental health and wellness with our children and even us as adults. And it's really great that all of this is coming to the forefront. I know I will, um, I have a, a thing tonight I'm going to be on about uh, cyberbullying tonight. We're going to be discussing that. And, you know, it's because it's everywhere, 
this time period that we're in, you know, this is one of the positives coming out of this time period is bringing that to the forefront so that we have that awareness and we have those conversations. And so it's not more like uh, in the shadows and nobody talks about it and we have to hush hush and put it under the carpet. No, let's face it head on. Let's bring it out in the forefront and let's teach our children from very early on upward about acceptance, you know, in, in adults, we need to do it too, don't we? Because you know, judgment runs, run, runneth a mucketh on this planet. <laughs> it does. And I wanted to give a shout out too, by the way, to the excellent, to Terry Jarrell. Her name is Terry yes. Jarrell. It's my hi, publisher. Terry. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Terry. And if she's watching, but uh, she is the, uh, the publisher for uh, SYP Publishing, which is uh, Southern Yellow Pine Publishing out of Florida. Um, and it's, um, she's it's a very, very um, fine book company that, uh, distributes worldwide you know this will be in all the barnes and nobles and uh the books of millions and different all the different uh, book companies what is the major book pump company there in bruschetti in uh in uh, cape, cape town or in uh johannesburg or cape town well we've we've got several um big publishers here um probably about three or four that are really really big so um people have got a choice of of publishers so until i want to ask you what was for you personally what was the inspiration um behind between fins what what made you want to write that book well when i when i went into calabash which is a restaurant a really fine seafood restaurant i took my sister because i get to see my sister and visit her in, in virginia her name is roberta klein and she she had a book out just recently not too uh, that lily um did um that that is beautiful um and um but inspiration was we were in the in this nice restaurant and we saw uh i saw the the uh wonderful aquarium, you know, large aquarium. I hadn't seen a large an aquarium in, in, um, in a restaurant before like that. So this is how, this is how it looks. I right hear the aquarium again. And so, um, then I saw kids coming up to him playing, you know, like, you know how kids do that. They, they touch the glass and they try to get the fish attention and everything, but, and that just, it just all just flew out to me. Can you believe it? The inspiration just, just really hit me. And, um, and I thought, kids would really love that it's it's from ages four to eight is what it is uh you know reaches and so just wanted to say that um i'm so glad it's out and i hope it will um really reach children and and uh help them understand that it's it's not the looks of somebody you can't judge the looks of somebody or their face nose or fins or anything like that um because they are scared and afraid in this book of a giant silverfish named king fin and um, he really isn't, he really isn't, uh, mean at all. So, ah, isn't that awesome? You know, but I can't believe that it, it flowed out of you like that. Cause I I've known you since 2015 and you and I can have a conversation. And I, there was one time you drove from, I don't know where it was. We had a conversation. You drove from one place to the next and then a whole song came. So, you know, <laughs> I believe it when you say that it all came and you have it books does. that come. Yeah. You wake up and you have books, right? Dreams, dreams. Some of dreams. dreams. There's a couple, there's a book or two that haven't been, there's a couple that haven't been published yet, but they were, they came out of a dream. Everything just fell out completely. Isn't that amazing? I want to ask you, what does it feel like to you to write the songs? I'm shifting for a second from, you know, books to, to the music. Uh, what does it feel like to, you know, write these songs and then you've teamed up with the artist and then they go and they become number one and you have six now, right? Six number one six since number one. last January. Yes. Right. So, you know, what does that feel like um, to, you know, let people know what that, what is that? Because it is a surreal thing, you know? It feels very surreal. It, it feels like, hey, I mean, I'm just going with, um, Part of the plan in my life and purpose in my life, I believe, and I think I'm just trying to follow it. Each each day is a big adventure and everything. So I I don't know what's next and everything. Um, we have the Lucky Boy song that's number two on the world charts and number three on the on the uh, Euro charts. That could go to number one this coming week, or uh, Josie with um, my Lucky song could stay at number one too. That's another possibility. So it's hard to figure anything out. You know, when, when you write something like the books or songs or whatever, 
they just they're out of your hands. You just have no control of them anymore. They just, you know, what I'm saying like they take their they're organic. They take their own, you know, life. What is it? Path or whatever they're supposed to do, right? Journey. Absolutely. So Thornton, you've written so many children's books, and uh, you know, they're amazing. They're doing well. What got you started with writing children's books? Well, it was kind of a natural thing for me because um, I teach children, you know, and I've worked with children over the years and uh, children all the way from age three all the way up. And um, they're very delightful. I, I love children. I love to teach them and to help the next generation. Um, and that's one of my purposes to help the next generation. And we can't hold it to ourselves and keep it to ourselves. We need to, you know, teach them what we know and we, we've learned and everything too. And so I think that was just kind of a natural, the very first one, I think I may have told you the story is that the amazing incredible shrinking violin, which is the very first one, a little girl came into my studio one day and she, she said she was really in distress and she was crying and she said her violin was shrinking. She said something was wrong with her violin and she couldn't, she couldn't play it anymore. And, and, and then just the lights lit up in my head and, <laughs> And I went, whoa, that's the first book or a first, my first book, you know, and I want to write books. So uh, that's called The Amazing Incredible Shrinking Violin. That's what it is. Yeah, and that's a series because you have 12 yeah, in she inspired, there, right? she, she inspired the entire series. I think a lot of people don't realize in life that, you know, is, is there some kind of a saying or something that we're all on, on a stage like as a play or the world's watching us on stage? Yeah, there is. There well, is, I, is such I, I a think a lot of people don't realize that they're inspiration for other people. I mean, it doesn't have to be a book or a or a song. It can be just in their heart. You know, it can inspire somebody, right? Their mm -hmm. lives. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and there's inspiration all around us. You know, if you can get into the flow of that mindset everywhere you go, there's inspiration. There's stories. There's, you know, something to talk about, wh whether it's to learn from or to share or to even acknowledge that inside yourself. You mm -hmm. know, if you see somebody doing something and it's like, oh, okay, so I've done that before. And I wonder what their motivation was. I wonder what my motivation was. You know, what is the lesson here? Um, you know, things like that, or just, you know, out in nature. If I need inspiration and I'm not finding it, nature is always that way for me. You know, there's metaphors everywhere in nature for us. And um, I agree. So, I think you have to be a good observer and a listener to be able to write those things. And I think, um, uh, I think that's where, you know, people will tell me all the time, they'll say, I have a writer's block or I just can't write anything. There's nothing you know, coming to me and I'm thinking, well, um, you know, not, not judgmental anything, just say, look around you, look, look at all the one, look at the people around and I try to be positive in what I say, the message and everything, but just look around all the things that are happening to you and, and all the people, you know, and just there's, there's your, there's your titles. There's your stories right there. Right. And, right. And we have to remember that we are as a, as you, as a writer, you're, you're less in control of what you're writing as long as you're in the flow. If you're in the flow of allowing it to come through, then then really you're just that instrument for all that that right. information and that inspiration to flow through. And then it comes easier. You know, if you're trying to control it, it doesn't work as well, does it? No, it's kind of a struggle between the conscious and the subconscious. Wouldn't you think so? Like you're... Uh, you're right. You just have to let that subconscious just let everything flow and not interrupt it. I always tell people that is, you know, in workshops and stuff to not to do the editing later. Don't worry about the editing. It it might all come out and it might be terrible. <laughs> it might be, you know, I've I've written many, many um not so good songs, bad songs and things like that in my life. I I just don't show them to people. I never show my songs like those songs. I just, you know, show the ones that I think are really excellent. But, you know, I'm sure people have written many bad books and manuscripts and all kinds of things, right? I mean. Yeah, you know, it's it's not about, I think, you know, if, if one is really passionate about what you're doing, um, just writing, you know, and just get it out there. And you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes it just takes one person to really like the story and it can blow up. Um, 
you know, just the, getting it into the right person's hands. But you never know unless you actually unless you actually try. I just want to give a shout out to Hamad, who's watching us from Pakistan. Hamad's hello, been also hello. been watching the Writer's Corner live show for years since we started, right from the beginning. So just wanted to give him a shout out as well. Um, Thornton, so what's next for you? I mean, you've you've got so many. <laughs> Yeah, right. I well, mean, like, how are you going to top it? Us. What's, what's next? Okay, I'll go ahead and reveal it on your show. On your show, okay? Oh, fine. Okay, drum so, roll. Mm. It's ex it's exclusive on your show here, okay? Okay, great. Um, they say you're not supposed to talk about stuff until it actually happens, but I'm going ahead and take a shot at it because I have faith on it. Then, but anyway, um, I want to give out a shout to um to Lacey Carpenter, who's a, a dear friend that we've been writing many, many years together, uh, at least four years together, more five years, maybe, um, as well as, you know, Mary, Mary and I are very good, great writers together too, Mary um, Rizzo Jackson um, as a team. And so we have been um, contracted. We, uh, in fact, the agreement just happened last yesterday when we had a conference call, but um, there's a Hellenic society uh, of diplomacy international between Greece and Nashville. Um, Athens, Greece, and Nashville, and we are the only we are the only ones in the world that have a Parthenon other than the original Parthenon in Greece. You know, and uh, Mary can Mary's been there. I'm sure seen it in Centennial Park in uh, in Nashville. Well, um, this is another international thing, like I did with China. You know, when we did the I went to visit China in 2019 as a delegate, as well as writ, wrote the uh, song. You probably remember that the theme song for the um, for the youth youth international youth conference with 36 countries but this one involves greece and us tennessee and everything and so um lacy and i are writing a musical a youth musical together um it actually the full-blown musical will be in uh will be released and performed in 2024 will be performed in all I think it's 95 counties in Tennessee as well as we'll be we'll also be doing a tour touring with this show um, in um, in Greece too but but the initial thing is in 2022 which is this year um, she and I are working and finishing up what we call a teaser I don't know if you've seen these little teasers that you can write they're like 10 minute teasers and they have um and it's kind of a snippet of what the show is all about, but you don't give it away. You just keep people on the edge of the seats until 2024. And we're going to have two stellar songs in this musical. And so the actual, just, it, you know, like a little, it's not a really a full blown musical. It's just a commercial for the musical. And it'll be performed this fall in many of the counties in Tennessee and Nash, uh, in, yeah, in Tennessee. Um, and then the full blown musical will be written, um, uh, in 20 will be performed in 2024. We have to write that, but um, it's um, it's very exciting to be a part of that international thing too. And uh, and you know, we're getting paid. It's, it's a commissioned thing, so we are doing it as professionals and so forth like that. So that's that's the scoop right there. Congratulations! That's awesome! <laughs> Congratulations! Yes. So now it was China. Now it's now it's Greece. So <laughs> very nice. <laughs> You know, and um, so we were really excited about it because we'll probably be starting. Um, they have to the um, the timeline is we'll probably be starting in March to start working on the on this. But see, we have to have we have to have dialogue, dialogue and two songs all in 10 minutes. Can you imagine that? So two songs, oh, wow. two, two minute songs, two two minute songs. They're like Stella songs. Like, for instance, all you've seen West Side Story, correct? Have you seen West yeah. Side Story? Okay, West Side Story. The stellar, the two stellar songs in that would probably be America. You heard that song, the very first opening song, and then the other one is called Somewhere or either Maria. But those are the kind of songs that, on the caliber that we're writing. We we hope we will be crossing into a new level. That's what we're hoping to. <laughs> you know, nice, um, very nice. So that's that's, the, that's, that's fantastic. And we don't know what the title of the the musical is yet, uh, but we are. It has something to do with the Parthenons, you know, but I don't know right. what it's going to be. Yet, but. Well, congratulations. And that is an awesome note um, on which to end our show today. Yes. Congratulations. Massive, 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 massive. <laughs> well, congratulations <laughs> both to yourself and to Lacey. And um, 
I think we'll have to we'll have to have the two of you back onto the show. Both both you yes. and Stacey to celebrate. So um yes. that'll be congratulations to both on the network and congratulations to you, Mary, on our new books that's come out too, plus um the Poolicious and the uh and Tears from Heaven and, and then cross congratulations to Lily too and uh, just yeah. a really a superb, superb illustrator. Just very, very gifted. So. Thank you. I know. I'm so excited for her and just her future. And yeah, it's awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for coming on. And um, we buddy. always love spending time with you. And um, we will be back next Tuesday, same time. Okay. Bye. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone, whether you're watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and also over on Amazon Live. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you again next week on same time on the next episode of the Writer's Corner live show. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Mm -hmm.